Hello Digmates and welcome to the latest Basecore update showcase where we've implemented visual updates that will help lower the learning curve of new users and improve speed for already established ones. Ready? Let's jump in. We've upgraded the layout editor with graphics that visually represent your keyboard and functions. We now have two views available for the layout editor. The standard view features a pop-up window that will open up with a selected key. This menu will help new users navigate and understand the tools available. The single view is built for more experienced users who want to test or change multiple keys quickly. We understand your need for speed and efficiency, so we implemented a new macro and super key window on this single view so that you can easily see the function of your selection. And not to forget the new power and sleep buttons. Nihon Enoi. Japanese was next in line to receive a little love from us. We've added Japanese language key picker support with specific keys and more language specific keys in the special drop down menu. We'll continue updating our keyboard with languages to make our products accessible to all. So, which should we do next? Let us know in the comments below. We understand that creating macros can be confusing. So we wanted to ensure that the UI equally served new and experienced users. We added a macro recorder to make the process lightning fast, a timeline editor to easily make changes, and a random delay option to expand the possibilities. Lastly, and much like the layout editor, we've added a new standard view to the super key editor to improve the experience and speed of creating super keys. And if you didn't already have enough room to play with, we've upped the macro and super key limit from 64 to 128. As always, we've squashed a bunch of bugs. If you'd like to read the full breakdown of this update, head to the description below. We hope you enjoy the new features and we'll catch you on the next update.